Hi guys, I just want to say a couple things about a 2014 new body style. This is a GMC Sierra SLE 5.3 Vortec 4x4. Uh, it's got 93,000 original miles on it and the transmission fluid has never been changed. So I talked to my reps at GM and they informed me that they recommend these transmissions to be serviced at 30,000 miles if towing. And if you're inside city doing a lot of stopping and going and your average is between 30 and 50 miles an hour to do it about every 60 to 80,000 miles, um, they do not recommend using a machine to flush the system if it is beyond that threshold and your transmission fluid is black. Uh, another thing is a lot of these models are dependent on whether you have a drain plug on the pan or not. I am lucky enough that this 2014 model does not come with a drain plug, so I have to take the pan off in order to drain the fluid. And since this truck has 93,000 original miles and it has not been serviced, um, what I'm going to do and what I was re recommended to do is drop the fluid only, refill it until full, and drive it for about 500 to 1,000 miles, which I think I'm going to do about 1,000, and then drop it again and change it again in 1,000, but I'm going to do the oil pan, or the transmission pan gasket along with the filter in 1,000 miles, but I want to use the original filter to filter out whatever it can uh, with new fluid um, and go through all the lines and stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to be using the 12 quarts that these hold. Um, by the time it drops, you know, there's still going to be fluid in the lines and everything. He said I'll probably get anywhere from 5 to 8 quarts. Uh, so I bought a case. Here's the other thing. They, GM, you know, they recommend one way, one way only, you know. Uh, I'm an auto body technician, so... Man, when it comes to aftermarket parts, they suck. Um, obviously, OEM parts are very expensive. Luckily, I get sweet deals. But um, this transmission and this transfer case, which if you call your local GM dealer and give them the Vintag, they'll let you know if your transmission takes a different type. But uh, I'm lucky enough that the transfer case and the transmission in this truck takes the, Dex the Dexron 6. And obviously, I'm only going to use AC Delco. I'm not going to put anything else in here. I'm also going to do the front and rear differentials, which is interesting because you can buy AC Delco. It's very expensive. Um, and actually, GM has tested, and believe me or not, I'm saying this, they have tested that Pennzoil 75 weight 90 gear oil is what they actually use in the GM... Uh, OE guys in town that's what they use to flush them because it's a cheaper option it's uh and GM has tested it so they actually recommend to use the Pennzoil can't believe I'm saying that but you know what if GM's done the testing obviously that stuff is good so um there is a sequence which I'm sure you can call GM and talk to them I have my patterns here or you know you want to go by specifications on which bolts to tighten first and that's what I got off of all data or almost data as we like to call it and then it's 80 pound inch torque spec on all these bolts um, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out with dropping the pan. I'm just trying to change the fluid, but I did kind of see a video on a guy with a 6214, uh, 6.2 liter, and he ended up having to take the exhaust not out, but he had to drop it from where the exhaust manifolds go into the catalytic converters. So there's six bolts there, which are apparently he had a pain but obviously I have a lot of specialty tools so that should be pretty easy I've done many exhaust systems as well um, man maintenance 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 you can make a vehicle last forever I've got a 9953 GMC Sierra she has 310,000 original miles motor transmission transfer case front rear differentials runs like a champ I've always done the maintenance on it though so 
Um, I will try to put up a part two video. Do your research before you do these things, you know. Um, obviously, I don't have a lift here, but this truck is six inch lifted. I've got jack and jack stands underneath the front end just lifting it enough. I'm a pretty skinny guy, so this will be easy to get under there. Just do your research. Make sure you document everything. And like I said, OE parts. OEM parts is an amazing thing. You'll never fight it. You'll always have good outcomes with it. So I'll post a second video. And I really hope this helps people out there. Like I said, if you have questions, don't necessarily, you know, local mechanics know their stuff as well. You know, ask them. But always double check with the OEs. It doesn't hurt. So... Well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to get to work on dropping this pan, and uh, we'll see what extra work I have to do. I'll uh, get a second part two video up and kind of see where that is, and then I'll do a part three when I do the filter and pan gasket as well. All right, guys. Enjoy.